Okay, now let's for our group presentation about Aston Martin business analyst. And in the first part is about the history development. It uh, Aston Martin development is include four factors. The first is about history development. In the, ever since the first Aston Martin was quantified more than 100 years ago, founded by Lonnie Martin and Robert Bumford in 1913 in a small London workshop, Aston Martin has since grown to become an internationally admired luxury brand. And for the second time, is a very important leader is Daft Brown, who is leader between 1947 and 1972. His contribute made it one of the most notable periods of our illustrious past, as Austin Martin flourished under his watch. And for the second part, is about the market position. Austin Martin enjoys global recognition and brand recognition. The company believes in direct transactions to establish an important link between the brand and its customers. It uses a marketing policy that enables it to promote its products through magazines and the billboards. So, and for the three part is about the the next page is about the country com, country strategy. Austin Martin has an international presence which has spread to six continents that include 50 countries such as China, France, Italy, United Kingdom, and so on. By the end of the financial year 2016, Austin Martin posted its revenue and operating income at 593 million euros and 60 million euros and the rev revenue respectively. It established revenues are summed at 975 million USD dollars and are considered fourth highest amongst its competitors. And for the final part is about the business strategy. In 2015, Austin Martin embarked on an ambitious midterm uh, strategy it called the Second Central Plan, include three parts. It uh, aimed at uh, deliver, delivering a successful, uh, sustainable luxury business by 2020. The plan targets a significant uplift in profitability and the cash generation insurance that long-term product development is funded from free cash flow and attractive returns are delivered for investors. And the next part is for my partner. Uh, in this session, I will talk about some market environment about the Chinese, uh, Chinese uh, automotive industries. The present competitive situation in Chinese car industries can be observed three kind of enterprise: foreign-founded, state-owned, and private-owned. The first category includes some traditional state-owned automotive enterprises such as uh, Shanghai Automotive Industry Corporations and Dongfeng Groups. Such this enterprise with long history of automotive auto productions, relatively rich production experience, and good at market operations. They tend to enter joint venture relationship with foreign partners. The secondary second category is a those enterprises shift from mandatory to civilian civilian purpose, such as Chang'an Automotive. This enterprise has a strong production base and this they are unique product during Chinese economic transformation process. The third category indicates the newly emerging auto enterprise such as Guangzhou Automotive Industry Corporations. This enterprise has little or no experience in car production alone, but they are evident uh, late developing advantage has made them the strong competitive force. Uh, in China, the car buyer consider buying SUV because they offer more interior space and believe to be the safe to be safer. But although the interior space is a key factor for SUV buyer, uh, it is also a barrier to choose SUV such as high fuel consumption and parking difficulty. And according to the mentor, the post 80s and the 90s are the core buyer of the SUV. This research shows that Chinese, Chinese bar, car buyers are willing to pay more for the SUV, whether they are the first-time buyer or the replacement buyer. 
this will be the best uh, best opportunity for us and Martin to produce the new product to the Chinese market. And because of their high pricing experience, us Martin could focus on the high income groups in China as the potential customer. And next, we'll uh, introduce my partner. In the following section, I will mainly use past mode to illustrate potential factors that influence DVX expansion into Chinese market in 2019. The first part is about policy and promotion. In China, the government supports the introduction of advanced technology, for example, the DVX of Aston Martin is the first mode of SUV which will use the newest engine security technology, etc. In addition, Due to that the electric car is popular in China in recent years, Aston Martin can make a bunting promotion with the first electric vehicle, Rapid E, so that it can increase the exposure rate of DBX. The second part is about economic and evolution. From these two above points, it proves that the Chinese market has a strong potential in economic strength for DBX, and one key feature that uh, much this advantage is that whether it's a DVX or uh, rapid E, they are both of the samples of Aston Martin's second century plan. The third part is about social segmentation. Since uh, 2015, China has been the world's largest market for electric cars and other new energy vehicles, and the Chinese government expects sales of new energy cars to hit 2 million it is one year by 2020, and they are set to account for one fifth of new cars sold in the country in 2025. From here, we can clearly guess that the Chinese market provides a large segmentation for new and high tech cars like DVX and Rapid E. What's more, there is no direct predecessor in this mode. The, third, the fourth part is about technology and targeting. Um, for technology, PBX will uh, have the five dot layout, and the new engine will uh, we, is going to adapt a uh, white um, top technology, which will produce six hundred horsepower and uh, five hundred and sixteen lb lbft of torque. As far as the targeting is concerned, targeting consumer is other high income people who has purchasing power, younger people who want a more aggressive car, and the female buyers that make up over 30% of Aston Martin's uh, customer base in China. Now let's invite, invite Yu Shenyao to give a presentation. Now I'm going to support this by forces to analysis this company. First one is competitive revenue. Uh, it is high because in the advanced market, the concentration of the luxury car industry is not high, and there is fair competition among brands for different sources and strategy. Next is about source of substitute. It is medium to high because luxury car fuel fare basically too need for the customers, provide a means of the transportation and the assert the privileges due to of the owner. As for the first need, there is very rare of other products to fulfill it, such as pu public transportation system or fly. Next is about threat of not new intern. The luxury car industry is protected by significant barrier to intern. One of the most significant constraints in the bands include the most Establishing banks can enjoy luxury banks as to money satisfy this need. It has a long and a glorious history. Next is about uh, uh, determining of supplier power. It is between low and middle because in the luxury seg segment, supply are less big since luxury car require manufacturing car of high quality, such as high technology device for entertainment, with only a smaller number of suppliers are able to divide. This makes the watching cost for luxury car makers high than other next markets. Next is about determining of buy buyer powers. This is medium to high because customers have substitute power, mainly because of the large value of last luxury bands and the product to choose for, and because of the presence of the substitute. Next, I want to use SWOT analysis to analyze Aston Martin. 
And first one is this. Aston Martin has rich history, history and a value leader to strong customer connect. Next is Vickney. Being compared to similar com company, Aston Martin has the leather market. is because the con concentration on other luxury market and he never tried to enter other market. As a result, the company has few target customer and uh, only a few uh, mass people can buy the product. And next is opportunity. Repair, repair of the economic other uh, Chinese economic in improving fast than any other economy. It will pro provide Aston Martin uh, opportunity to expand into the Chinese market. The next one is about the streets. Street com competition catching up with the protect development. It, it is facing stiff changes for international and the local competitors. Let's please my partner Zhang Jinghao talk about other one. Okay, first look, let's look at the, these two tables. As we can see, Aston Martin has put development in 2016 and 2017. And Chinese market sales growth rate at 89% is a good proof, is a good proof that the Chinese market is a good potential so potential market for Aston Martin. So I will choose strategy action for the China. Well, Aston Martin's main mainly focus on the product investment and brand purchases to make to improve the performance in the Chinese market, even the Asian markets, they can improve their more demand for their for the Aston Martin's the customers. And we can see that for the customers, Aston Martin's build more the expectation as experience events to improve the customer experience and performance. And they can attract more potential customers as well. And for the deliverers, they improve their investment to uh, improve their competition because in Chinese market Aston Martin has many has many competitors in the Chinese market. For the staff they uh, Aston Martin trains more Chinese the Chinese the staff for improve the service quality and efficiency as well. And for the products they launch more models and quality for the for the Chinese customers because according to my research they they don't have many many more, more many models and quantity in Chinese markets before and they improve their brand events and so and have built more the showrooms to improve the brand evenness and brand awareness and a uh, multi companies want if a multi company wants to have more development for in the future they need to cooperate and support the governments and the uh, and enterprise so uh, in in recent years, they cooperate more and more companies for in the country. And Tom will talk about the market entry strategies. Through all the analysis above, we recommend the market entry strategy to ask the money and the joint ventures because uh, the market market orientation strategy has already been used by Aston Martin previously, but it's not successfully. Uh, and the contract, contractual strategy is uh, has a similar like uh, back drawbacks uh, with the uh, marketing orientation strategy. They both lack of marketing control and lack of marketing in information. And the wholly owned, wholly owned, uh, fully owned company and the wholly controlled company, they re requ require a great demand of capital, and they have have difficulty in the policy of the government but in the joint ventures the controlling of competence is an advantage for them because their co-operators have uh, more information about the local market and uh, lower risk of capital and uh, compared with the uh, fully owned companies and then especially in china the government requires their uh, the the a local partner with them, so but things might not might change because last year um, Tesla has started a, a fully owned uh, manufacturer factory in Shanghai. But the disadvantage for this for this strategy is that difficult to imagine because two two uh, two partners might have a disagreement in the strategy or the reinvestment. And finally, come to the conclusion. 
Um, the current we have discussed the po uh, current position of Aston Martin and his history of development. And then we have analyzed the micro and macro and micro environment in China and the industry. And, and later we have a strategy analysis about his, what he has done in Chinese market because last year the CEO has claimed that they would uh, in fully enter Chinese market in 2019. And finally we have suggested the market entry strategy to them. Thank you.